Based on what's been going on in Wisconsin with the, the trying to de-unionize public employees, just wanted your general thoughts on the issue and whether you think that'll have, or what kind of effect that'll have on the rest of our country. Well, um, first of all, I am somebody who believes that unions have played a very important role in our country because if you look at the difference between our countries and other countries, it's been this really big, healthy, vibrant middle class. And the fact that workers can come together and bargain for better wages, um, that has, I don't, I don't know how that has been a negative overall for this country. What I don't like about what's going on in Wisconsin is this. The governor says this is about the budget. And the unions have said, we'll pay what you want us to pay. We'll put more money into the pension. We'll put more money into health care. They said that several days ago. And now it's becoming very clear that the goalpost has moved, that it's not about how much money they will pay in. They're, going to, they're willing to take an 8% pay cut because of the budget crunch. And now the goalpost has been moved because really what this legislation is about is making sure that they don't have the right to even have a union or to collectively bargain. And I think that is wrong. Um, I, I think that if you want to bust a union, then let's be up front and just say, I want to bust the union. Uh, because they're, they're, they're confusing people by saying this is about them being willing to pay in, and they said, we'll pay in. So um, I, I, uh, I don't get that, and, and I don't think it's been reported widely enough that this same governor pushed through $117 million in tax cuts to corporations just a few weeks ago. So if they can afford to take that money out of their revenue stream, and I'm not quarreling that tax cuts can be good. We've done over 400 billion dollars in tax cuts in the last several years. And so, you know, tax cuts, especially to small businesses, I think are very important right now in this economy. So I'm not quarreling that tax cuts are bad. I'm just saying, be honest what you're trying to do here. This isn't about whether or not they're willing to sacrifice. This is about whether or not you think people that are in the public sector have a right to collectively um, try to leverage for better wages. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. In fact, it's in our constitution in Missouri. You may not know that, but our Missouri constitution lays out that it's a constitutionally protected activity, collective bargaining in the state of Missouri. You guys liked that one, didn't oh, you? Yes. <laughs>